Hello, and welcome to this briefing on the US dollar and why it remains the supreme currency for world trade. Let's get started. The likelihood of the US dollar retaining its position as the world's primary reserve currency in the coming years is a topic of ongoing discussion among economists. Roger Aliaga Diaz, Vanguard's chief economist for the Americas, and Josh Hurt, a senior economist at Vanguard, provide insights into the dollar's current dominance, the role of reserve currencies, and the potential emergence of competing currencies. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, please kindly support this channel by clicking on the like and subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. Reserve currencies play a critical role in global finance by facilitating key international transactions such as payments for goods and services, global investments, borrowing, and pricing commodities like oil and gold. Since World War II, the U.S. dollar has been the dominant international reserve currency, a status that brings significant benefits to the U.S. economy. Global investors and governments view reserve currencies as safe havens for their assets during periods of geopolitical instability, financial crisis, and domestic unrest. This store of value characteristic is crucial for the global financial system. There are three main reasons for the U.S. dollar's enduring status as the preferred reserve currency. Firstly, the U.S. has a long history of economic strength and robust growth. Secondly, the democratic nature of the U.S. government and its institutions instills trust in the stability and reliability of the country's financial system. Thirdly, there is a degree of inertia in the global financial system which revolves around the U.S. dollar and U.S. capital markets. While other countries may possess some of these qualities, the U.S. uniquely combines all three. Despite its dominance, the U.S. dollar has lost some ground as a reserve currency over recent decades. This decline is primarily due to significant globalization and the associated economic growth in many other economies. As the global economy expands, the demand for reserve currencies exceeds the capacity of the U.S. to supply dollars. The introduction of the euro in the 1990s, along with the use of other major currencies like the Japanese yen and British pound, and more recently the Chinese yuan, has diversified global transactions. The idea of the U.S. dollar losing its dominance as a reserve currency has been debated since the late 1990s with the advent of the euro, and again in the late 2000s during the global financial crisis and China's rise in global influence. However, these shifts have not materialized to the extent anticipated. For another currency to supplant the dollar, it would require widespread global adoption. Despite some countries recently bypassing the dollar in trade contracts, the U.S. dollar remains the currency of choice for international transactions. The U.S. dollar's dominance is evident in various metrics of international currency usage. Despite a decline from 71% in 1999 to 58% in 2022, the dollar remains the leading global reserve asset. This trend is not expected to continue at the same rate, partly because the peak effects of globalization are likely behind us. The dollar remains inexpensive to use and highly liquid, reinforcing its dominant position. The dominance of the U.S. dollar brings several benefits. It ensures ample demand for U.S. debt instruments, providing liquidity and stability. This demand allows U.S. entities to borrow at lower interest rates compared to other parts of the world, potentially saving the U.S. government about $80 billion annually in interest payments. Additionally, saving a large revenue, the purchasing power generated through the printing of new dollar bills provides another source of income for the U.S. government, amounting to approximately $35 billion annually. However, there are also challenges. During times of turbulence, increased demand for U.S. dollars and U.S. Treasury bonds can be a tailwind for U.S. policymakers trying to stimulate the economy. But in normal economic times, such flows can push the dollar's value up, disadvantaging U.S. trade. Overall, the advantages of having the U.S. dollar as the global reserve currency outweigh the disadvantages. The dollar's dominance is not an end goal for the U.S., rather it results from the stability and strength of U.S. democracy and its institutions, including the Federal Reserve's independence and credibility. Several scenarios could lead to a further decline in the dollar's share as a reserve currency. The most likely scenario involves other nations deepening their capital markets and improving their institutions over time. This gradual change would likely be positive for the global financial system, with minimal transition costs. Another scenario, though less likely, involves technological innovations like cryptocurrencies potentially replacing trust in sovereign nations with trust in technology. However, the flaws in cryptocurrencies, monetary economics, and the advancements by major central banks in developing their own digital currencies reduce the likelihood of this scenario. A more concerning scenario would be a significant mismanagement of the U.S. economic or political environment, leading to a fiscal crisis or a severe loss of trust in the political system. This unforced error could trigger a rapid and costly transition, though this scenario is considered unlikely due to its severe consequences. The enduring use of the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency is rooted in global trust and the lack of viable alternatives. While some scenarios could lead to a decline in the dollar's dominance, the widespread trust in U.S. democratic institutions and the stability they provide continues to support the dollar's prominent role in global finance. 
That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.